the story. May of this year, NBC4 first told you that the Columbus Castings Company was forced to close its doors, which put more than 600 employees out of work. After weeks of legal negotiations, the company was eventually forced to sell its assets to the Rice Brothers Incorporated. Now, the new owners will not be operating the steel foundry. Their plan is to eventually rather redevelop the South End land for at least some of the existing buildings. Photojournalist John Edwards was given a behind-the-scenes tour of this Columbus landmark. It encompasses a little bit over 80 acres of real estate, and there's about 800,000 square feet of buildings. You've got a facility here that's 110 years old, and it's packed with everything that they've accumulated in the last 110 years. Uh, right now, we're at about 1,800 lots, uh, individual items that'll be sold. I think it'll crest over 2,000 by the time it's all finished. The first phase to the rebirth of the Columbus casting site is to have a massive online auction. That set of chains right there should bring up close to $10,000 in, in auction value. The hook alone weighs 85 pounds. From chains to a giant drill press, old portable fire extinguishers to welders, one after another. This is a 35-ton arc furnace, and it has a 35,000 kilowatt transformer. Building after building, their goal is to have the content sold and moved by January. The ultimate plan is to take this real estate back to a usable form for businesses in the in the city of Columbus. Although nothing is certain, COP says they envision a mix of retail, restaurants, and business use for the site. We've made a point to retain all of what we consider to be historical value, which are, you can see these are models of some of the products that they made over the years. This is World War II, and this is probably the Korean conflict. And these heavy brass signs were attached to the buildings, noting employees' military service from World War I through the War on Terrorism. John Edwards, NBC4, Columbus.